is your tutorial on the surface area of the reactor vessel, which is three stacked cylinders. And so the easiest way for me to show you how to do this is for us to draw the net of each cylinder, which we've done for you, and I've tried to color code it for you. So the small cylinder on top is the green one, and the middle cylinder is pink, and the biggest cylinder that's on the bottom is the blue one. And so what I want you to notice is that the reason that we have uh, the top colored in on the net for the small one is because we are going to we are going to only do the top of that small one. So, so this part counts in my surface area right here. And then I have the bottom colored all the way in on the big one because the bottom is going to be, all of the bottom is going to be part of the surface area for the reactor vessel. But if you notice, I haven't colored in either one of the uh, middle cylinder because the mill middle cylinder only has part of the top that it's going to use and none of the bottom. And then the uh, big cylinder is going to have only part of the top that will be part of the sur surface area. And the smallest cylinder only gets to have the top. The bottom is not used at all. So let's look at how we can solve this. If we look at our formula that we have for surface area of a cylinder, you have 2 pi r squared. That's the first thing. Now why is that part of the formula? Well, pi r squared is the formula for the uh, area of a circle. And a cylinder has two circles. But we're not using both circles on our uh, cylinders. So I'm going to label the uh, pi r squared next to each one of my circles so that I know how many times am I going to use pi r squared. So I will have uh, pi r squared next to each that circle and then I'll have pi r squared next to that part of the circle. So there's my top and my bottom of my cylinder. Now the center part, which is a rectangle, the lateral surface area, that is the second part of my formula, which is 2 pi r h. So I know that I'm going to have 2 pi r h for my middle cylinder, I'm going to have uh, or my smallest cylinder, and then I'm going to have 2 pi r h for my medium or my middle cylinder, and then I'm also going to have 2 pi r h for my bottom cylinder, my biggest one. And once I find those, I'm going to add all of those together because all of the lateral surface area is showing. So that's going to be my first step. So we're going to do uh, 2 pi r h. And now 2 pi r h, and we're going to use green so that you know we're just talking about the small cylinder. So I'm going to do 2 times pi, and since I'm using the calculator, I don't have to write in a 3.14. I don't have to write in a 3 for pi. I can actually plug this in the calculator in a minute, so I'm going to actually use the real number for pi. So I'm going to leave the symbol there, and then I need the radius next. Well, if you look over there at our small cylinder, the diameter was 6, so we know the radius is going to be 3. And so I plug in a 3, and then I plug in a 10 for my height. And if I multiply that out, which is easy to do in my head, I'll do 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 10 is 60. And then I'm just going to leave pi as it is so that I can wait and put it in the calculator when I need to. So now let's do the middle size one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm using 2 pi r h, and I'm going to do 2 times pi. 4 is my radius for the middle one because my diameter was 8, and then times 13. And if I do uh, 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 13 is 104, so I know that my lateral surface area is 104 pi. Now I'm going to do the last one. So now let's do the, the last one again, and we're going to do 2 times pi. 5 is our, di is our 
radius because 10 was our diameter and then times 15 which is our height and so we would have 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 15 is 150 so we have 150 pi now my next step would be to go ahead and add all of these together because I know that I'm going to need all three of my lateral surface areas. So I just leave pi the way that it is and I just add the numbers. So when I add uh, 60 plus 104 plus 150, I get, uh, let's see, 4, 6 by 11, 3, 300 and 14, 314 pi. Okay, and then I can't forget my pi because it's 314 times pi. Now, that's my lateral surface areas. Now I have to deal with my uh, top and bottom circles for each cylinder. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know that I'm going to have to have the whole part of the top of the small cylinder. And I know the formula for that is pi r squared. So now I, I just scroll down and I, we drew a picture of just the top circle of the, of the smallest cylinder. And we know we're going to have the whole part of that. So we have pi, that's pi r squared. And if I put, put in the radius, it was 3. So 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to have pi times 9, or I can write it as 9 pi. And I can go back and uh, add that over here to my 314 pi and uh, know that I'm that's my first part that I'm going to add in. Now I also know that I'm going to have the bottom of the biggest one, all of the bottom. So now we do pi r squared for that circle, and we do uh, pi times 5 squared, which will give us 25 pi. And then I'm going to go add that in over to my um, ongoing tabulations. Now, this is the hard part. This is where we're going to take the, the two circles in the middle and have to deal with the two circles that are on top and bottom of those. Okay, so here we go on this part. Now, what we have to realize is that we just want this part of the middle um, cylinder. It's only that part that's showing right there. So uh, we drew a picture down here of the pink one and then the green circle taken out of the middle there. So that would just mean that the pink area, which is pi r squared, minus the green area, which is also the green pi r squared, and we know the pink area is 4 squared pi, which is 16 pi. So we have 16 pi minus 9 pi, and when we do that, our answer will be uh, 7 pi. So that was that little section. Then if we go back and look at our original figure, we also need that little section right there where the middle one is sitting on top of uh, the big one. And so we drew a picture of that. So we have the pink one is taken out of the middle of the blue one. And so that's the blue area pi r squared minus the pink area which is pi r squared and we know the blue was 25 pi and we know the pink is 16 pi so we're going to subtract those and when we subtract those we get um, 9 pi so now I have those two areas and I'm going to go add them to my list over here of addition so I'm going to add another uh, 9 pi and 7 pi. Now, when I add those up, I will add uh, 4 plus 9 is 13, plus 5 is 18, plus 9 is 27. Is that right? And then 27 plus 7 is 34. Is that right? Okay, so we get my 4. 
and then carry my 3. And then I'll have 3 plus 1 will be 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. No, those are already done. And then, so that's 6, and so then that'll be 364. Did I do it right? Oh, which one did I miss? Oh, I just did these first. Yeah. This is 62. What did I leave out? Pause it. Okay, so we good. We did our addition right. So now we have 364 pi. Now we can go and put this in the calculator. You already know how to do this. I would just put 364, then my second button, and my arrow top, which uh, is pi, and I would get my answer. And since this is surface area, I know that my units are going to be feet squared. So just remember, your last step is going to be to put this in the calculator, but this video is long enough, so I'm not going to actually do that for you. And so that is how you find the surface area of the reactor vessels. Sorry it took so long. Hopefully with all of the colors, you can keep this straight. And uh, just remember that I, it took me a day and a half to work this out to make sure that I could explain it correctly to you. So this might be one you want to use a question card on.